Hello everybody, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. I'm back with another devotional. This devotional is entitled, Fear and Adversity. And I'll be reading from my Bible, Psalm chapter 56. Be merciful to me, O God, for man would swallow me up. Fighting all day, he oppresses me. My enemies would hound me all day. For there are many who fight against me, O Most High. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear. What can flesh do to me? All day they twist my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather together. They hide. They mark my steps. When they lie in wait for my life, shall, I, shall they escape by iniquity? In anger cast down the peoples, O God. You number my wanderings. Put my tears into your bottle. Are they not in your book? When I cry out to you, then my enemies will turn back. This I know, because God is for me. In God, I will praise his word. In the Lord, I will praise his word. In God I have put my trust. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Vows made to you are binding upon me, O God. I will render praises to you, for you have delivered my soul from death. Have you not kept my feet from falling? that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Amen. Right, that's the Bible reading of the devotional. It's impossible to live in this world without ever facing doubt, confusion, or apprehension. The word, the word of God doesn't dismiss these concerns. Instead, it tells us what to do when we're afraid. The best response is to admit your fears to the Lord and trust Him to work out the situation according to His will and timing. Many people want to hold anyone but God responsible for their adversity. That's because they can't reconcile why a good God would allow their situation. What they fail to realize is that the Lord is sovereign over everything, including the events of each believer's life. And even hardships have a purpose in His plan. They can be tools for strengthening our faith and maturing us spiritually. When we choose to trust the Lord with our fears and uncertainties, we're promised a better outcome than anything we could have fashioned ourselves. If you're going through difficulty, remember that God has taken account of your miseries. And even in these circumstances, He is for you. Yield to Him and let Him accomplish His purposes through your trials. When you trust in God, you have no reason to be afraid. Ooh, amen. Yeah. Let's, let's all trust in God. He is our strength. 
All right, that's it for the reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something from it. Until I read to you again, God bless you all, and goodbye.